Hi, I'm Alex, CEO of Speedify. We try to make Speedify as easy to use as we can, but we've been getting questions from some of you guys about just what the graphs show and how to use them. So we're going to explain. We all have our own favorite graphs, bar graphs, line graphs, scatter plots, but my favorite graphs are the ones in Speedify. Speedify graphs help you monitor how your connections are doing in real time. First, you'll need the Speedify app. Open Speedify, connect to a server with the toggle in the top right corner, and then you'll see the different graph section. We have usage, latency, loss, and bypass. So the usage one is the first one. This shows a real-time graph of your internet usage whenever you're using Speedify. Each internet connection you have, and here I have three different internet connections, are shown in a different color. And the green line over top shows the total speed you're getting of all of them added up right now. Now, the second graph is the latency graph. Latency, often referred to as ping time, is how long it takes a small packet to go from your computer to the internet and back. You really want to see these numbers low, firmly 10 or 20 milliseconds, but really anything below 100 milliseconds is probably fine. The third graph is loss. Loss shows what percentage of the packets that you, you know, send and receive from the internet don't make it for some reason. Uh, you know, this can be that you're on the edge of range of Wi-Fi, that you have very poor cellular signals, something like that. Really, you expect these numbers to be zero. And the final graph is the bypass graph. This shows how much traffic Speedify is not handling that it's letting go around. A lot of times, a lot of the streaming apps, you can, at your option, set to not go through the VPN, just go straight out your, your Wi-Fi or whatever. If you like this video so far, subscribe to our channel and you can get a lot more of these tech tips and tech knowledge. And another feature we added recently, check this out, is graph rotation right here under preferences. You turn it on every 20 or 30 seconds, it'll rotate to the next graph, you know? So if you're sort of interested in all of them, you can just turn that on, hang out, do your thing. And as it goes, it'll rotate through the different graphs. But how do the graphs actually work? Well, we measure performance since Speedify is in the middle between the internet and your computer. Running on your computer, it's able to keep statistics on how long each packet took to get through, whether it was lost, which internet connection it went over, and based on that, it's able to build these stats to fill in the graphs for you. And that's it. Our graphs will help keep you informed about how your internet is doing. Still interested in more? Check out our other video about our data limit features. You can control how much data Speedify uses on each of your internet connections.